Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are looking at uh, the law of conservation of momentum. Uh, to begin with, we looked at uh, the law of conservation of momentum as we said P before. P before is equals to P after. And the equation that we will use is M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial is equals to M1 M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. And we said uh, many places they also use the equation M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equals to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. But where we are writing the final exam for matric in South Africa, this is the equation that we must use. There's equ the equation that I have here on the top will not be accepted. Now let us look at our scenario that we have. We have a one kilogram object moving at two meters per second and it's plus, which means we assume that it is to the right. We take a right as positive. It's going to collide with a four kilogram object moving at one meters per second to the left. Now, what we must do is we must always choose direction. And we will assume, in our case, we're choosing the right as positive. Now, if we don't do this, many of our sums will be incorrect. So one of the big problems that we have in momentum sums is taking the direction and make sure that you don't forget the minus sign. So we have a one, obje uh, one kilogram object moving at two meters per second. Let's write it down. Our first object is one kilogram moving at two in the positive direction and it's colliding with a four kilogram object moving at one. It's colliding with a four kilogram object moving at one meters in the negative direction. And what we must do is look at what uh, happens after the collision. So let us run this applet, which is an EGA, EJS, uh, Easy Java applets, and you can download them from the web if you search for EJS. So let's write down, let's run this applet and see what happens. So before here we have the velocities on the top. The blue object is moving at two and the red object is moving at one in opposite direction. And here it comes, they collide and then they move in opposite directions. And we see that the blue object moves to the left at uh, 2,8 meters per second. And our four kilogram red object moves to the right at 0, 0,2 meters per second. So we will take one and we will calculate the other one to verify it in our sum. So we say the mass of the blue object after the collision, it moves um, at 2,8 meters per second in the opposite direction that it was traveling. So it will be minus 2,8 plus, and they want us to find maybe the velocity of the red object after the collision. So looking at the sum, we see that there are two negative signs. Be very careful that we don't forget the, the direction which will show the negative signs or the sum will go totally wrong. So two times one is two and this is four times plus. Uh, four times minus one is minus four. That gives us minus 2,8 plus four V2F. And now we have a, a calculation. Uh, two times minus four is minus two. And you take the 2,8 on the other side becomes 2,8 is equals to four V2F. Minus two minus 2,8 is 0, 0,8 divided by four will be equals to V2F. And if you take our calculator, then we'll see that V2 final will be equal to 0, 0,2 meters per second. And it, because it is positive, it would be towards the right. And let's just see if our effort to verify that. And here we see that it's 0, 0,2 meters per second and it's positive, which means to the right. So here we have, um, an example of objects moving towards each other. The thing is when object moves towards each other, we must not forget to take 
the sign into account or our sum will be seriously wrong. Right, let's take another example. We have a scenario here where we have our 3 kilogram mass piece moving to the right at 2 meters per second and we have a 5 kilogram mass piece moving to the left at 1 meters per second. After collision, the two objects lock together and move off. Um, in which direction would they move off and what would be their velocity? That would be a, a type of sum we are looking at. So the 3 kilogram is moving at 2 and a 5 at 1. Let's write it down. So we see here that we have M1 V1 initial, M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals to M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. So we have a 3 kilogram object moving at 2 meters per second to the right. We're taking right as positive, don't forget. Uh, collides with a 5 kilogram object moving at 1 meters per second to the left. Just double check that. 5 kilogram object moving at 1 to the left. 3 kilogram object moving at 2 to the right. So we want to know they lock together after the collision. So because they lock together, we can say the masses will be combined, M1 plus M2, joined together. And we want to know the final velocity of the two objects that are locked together. So 3 times 2 is 6. And then this will become plus minus 5 is equals to the two masses are 3 plus 5 will be 8 VF. So 6 plus minus 5 becomes plus 1 is equals to 8 VF. And if you divide by 8 on both sides, you divide by 8 on both sides. So our final velocity according to our equation will be 1 divided by 8 and that will give us a positive 0, 0.125 meters per second. So what we are saying here that our final velocity will be 0, 0.125 meters per second to the right. So we're saying we've got this mass piece going this way and we have this mass piece coming that way and there's a collision. And after the collision, the two objects are locked together and they are moving to the right at 1, 0, 0,125 meters per second. Now let us verify that using our applet. So here we have the, the scenario, 3 moving at 2, 5 moving at 1 in opposite direction. And uh, they move together, they collide, and they are moving as we see here. They have collided and the two masses have, uh, are joined and they are both moving at 0, 0,125 meters per second to the right. So this was um, a verification to see that this is exactly what happens. Right, let's take another example of an explosion. So if we have this example here, we see that these two objects are together and uh, before the uh, explosion. And after the explosion, they will separate. So what we could do is you can, we could write it down a sli slightly differently where because the two masses are together, you can say M1 plus M2 V initial is equals to M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. Now initially because the velocity is zero, they are standing still, our velocity is zero. So this whole thing will become zero. And in our case, we see that the one mass is three and the uh, other mass is five. So let's just put it down, three plus five. So that is before the explosion. We have this applet where we see that the two objects are together and initially the velocity is zero. Now, what happens is that if we uh, have an explosion, we see that the objects move in opposite directions. There the objects are moving in opposite directions. The one object moves to the right and the other object moves to the left. Now the, here we need a little bit of information. So if we say that the object moving to the right moves at um, 0, 0,75 meters per second, what will the green object or the, or the, the 3 kilogram mass piece move at? So uh, let, let us just calculate that. So we'll say that the 3 kilogram mass piece we want to know what it is 
its final velocity. And we say that the five kilogram mass piece moves to the right at 0, 0,75 meters per second. And we must remember that this is a five kilogram object. So your initial velocity is zero. And here we have three V final plus five times 0, 0,75. Or give us 3,75. If you take it to the other side, we say minus 3VF is equal to 3,75, and you divide it by 3, divided by 3, your V final will be 3,75 divided by 3, which will be equal to 1,25 meters per second. And here we see actually we must divide by minus 3. And this becomes minus 1,25 meters per second. And this means that our three kilogram mass piece will move at 1,25, 1,25 meters per second to the left. This is very important. That minus sign makes all the difference. So let's just write it nicely for us. So the answer is, 1,25 meters per second, and we must say to the left. So to, to just to round off again, we see that we have objects moving towards each other, where the two objects move towards each other, they collided, and then they separated again after uh, impact, the one moved to the left and the one moved to the right. We had a scenario where two objects move towards each other and lock together after impact. We had a scenario when two objects were together and then they, they were together and then they separated and uh, that is a, a summary of the basics that you require for momentum and I hope that it was beneficial to you. Thank you very much for watching.